Alright, finally, last but not least, let's talk about Nintendo. And Nintendo didn't do a press conference this year, but they did a Nintendo Direct video instead. So the first game they showed off was Pokemon X and Y for the Nintendo 3DS. I'm not really going to comment too much about this game because I have very little knowledge about Pokemon. I mean, the only Pokemon game that I've actually played that is actually canon to the series is Pokemon Red on the original Game Boy. But moving on, the next game they showed was Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. And I gotta say, this game looks awesome. It's using the formula of Super Mario 3D Land, where you get from point A to point B, you have to make it to the flagpole. Uh, but there's also going to be some star collecting involved in the game, because I did see some stars in the game. And there's also going to be four-player co-op. You're going to be playing as Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Peach. They're using the exact same abilities from Super Mario Bros. 2 on the NES. And I gotta say, that's really cool because what I liked so much about Super Mario Bros. 2 was the fact that there were so many ways you could play the game with different characters and it felt like, it kind of sort of felt like a new experience each pl uh, playthrough of the game. And I could say this about other games like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, for instance. But what I would really like to see in Super Mario 3D World is bigger levels. And when I say big levels, I'm talking about big as in Super Mario 64 or Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, and also some more multiple pathways for when you're trying to reach the flagpole. It's just so that it gives more exploration to each of the levels. Another thing too is try using the screen on the Wii U game pad for multiplayer so that one player can play using the television screen while the second player can play using the Wii U game pad controller screen. So that way we're not all sharing the same screen. Those are just some suggestions that I would like for the game. The next game they showed was Mario Kart 8 and I'm a huge fan of Mario Kart. Mario Kart is one of my favorite racing games besides Road Rash. Uh, but this game looks... Uh, what I liked about this game was the anti-gravity. And I think it's cool because it opens up more ways to navigate through these racetracks because you, you can either drive on the main side of the course or you can drive on the walls and ceilings so there's more pathways that you can explore through the races and different routes that you can take. Another thing that's really cool is you can record gameplay footage of the game and you can upload it to Miiverse so that people can watch it and comment on it, which I think that is also really cool, so Mario Kart 8 is going to be awesome. After that, Nintendo was talking about how they were going on Miiverse and looking at all the awesome and amazing drawings on Miiverse that people have done and uploaded on there, and these drawings, for what it's limited, like there, there's limitations to these drawings, but for what they could pull off, it was quite incredible. So Nintendo sat down and thought to themselves, why don't we make a game called Art Academy, which is essentially a Wii U version of, like, say, Mario Paint or something like that. So this will give you the option to use pencil, paintbrush, all that good stuff, colors, and all these different ways of drawing techniques, and, up, and draw pictures and show them on Miiverse. Now, I'm not really that interested in Art Academy, but I will say this. I love the fact that Nintendo is actually paying attention to their fans and giving them something that they would want. And this isn't the first time that Nintendo has done this. There has been times where people have been asking for Earthbound for the Wii U Virtual Console on Miiverse, and Nintendo was reading all these messages on Miiverse, and they figured, you know what, if that's what people want, let's give them Earthbound uh, for the for, as a virtual console release, and that's really awesome. I love it when companies actually listen to their consumers, unlike some other company, <laughs> Microsoft. Then Nintendo talked about the new game that Retro Studios was working on, and that was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This game looks really cool. I love Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii, so this game is going to be... I have a feeling this game is going to be pretty awesome. And they also brought back Dixie Kong. So now you can fly in the air for a certain period of time, and that's cool. And if this game is anything like Donkey Kong Country 2 on the Super Nintendo, which is, in my opinion, the best Donkey Kong Country game ever, I would be really excited for this. So, looks like a really good game. They also showed off Wii Party U and Wii Fit U. As for Wii Party U, 
I'm not gonna lie, Wii Party is actually a really fun multiplayer game, and I'm really curious to see what Nintendo is going to do by utilizing the Wii U gamepad. As for Wii Fit U, Wii Fit U is a fun game, but honestly, I just don't think that game really needs a sequel. But that's just my opinion. They also showed off more information about Wonderful 101 and Bayonetta 2. Wonderful 101 looks interesting, and Bayonetta 2, while it looks alright, it just doesn't look like a game that really appeals to me. Nintendo showed off a bunch of third-party titles and indie games that are going to be coming to the Wii U in the near future, and I couldn't remember all these games that were going to be coming out because it was going by kind of fast, uh, but one of the games that they showed was uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Watch Dogs, um, Cloudberry Kingdom, Sonic Lost World, and just a bunch of other ones that I don't remember. The second last game they showed was a game called X. It's supposed to be like an open world RPG kind of game where you can either explore the lands, you can go into a giant robot like thing, and you fight dinosaurs and stuff like that. So it looks interesting. I also forgot to mention that they also showed a HD remake of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Now, I will say this. Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is my second favorite Zelda game of all time. I love this game. But if they're just going to make it an HD remake, I'm not going to care because I already own this game on the GameCube. If they're going to add more content to it, like more dungeons, and maybe a greater difficulty or something, more side quests, then I would be interested. But Nintendo saved the best for last. Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS and the Wii U. That trailer looked awesome. And the new characters that they showed was the Villager from Animal Crossing, um, the Wii Fit Trainer from, well, obviously Wii Fit, and Mega Man. When they showed Mega Man, my jaw dropped. I was going nuts. I was like, holy crap, they got the original Mega Man on the NES in Super Smash Brothers. That is so badass. Since there's going to be a 3DS version and a Wii U version, both versions are going to have its own levels and its own features. So for instance, the 3DS version is going to have levels that are going to be more based on handheld Nintendo games, uh, while the console version is supposed to have levels that are more based on uh, console Nintendo games, like Skyward Sword and stuff like that. Also, the game will not have any DLC whatsoever. Thank God. I hate games that you have characters as DLC and you gotta pay for them. I love the satisfaction of unlocking the characters within the game itself. And unfortunately, Microsoft did not do that with Killer Instinct. I mean, come on, one character? Every other character you have to unlock through DLC? What the hell, Microsoft? But thankfully, Super Smash Bros. does not have this bullshit. Thank you. There's a lot of things that I would like to see in this new Super Smash Bros. games, uh, like certain characters, certain levels, and certain features, and it's a lot of stuff that I'd like to talk about, so because there's so much of it, I'm not going to cover it in this video because it's probably going to take too long, so I'll save it as a different video. So in conclusion, what did I think of Nintendo's E3 Nintendo Direct? Well, I will say this, it was good, but it was not good enough. They showed off a lot of good games, yes, uh, but a lot of the but some of those games they showed were games that we already knew about and they were already mentioned in previous Nintendo Directs. Of course, they did show off some new games that we didn't know about, like Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, and Super Smash Brothers, and that new Donkey Kong Country game. But if you look at Sony and Microsoft's press conferences, those press conferences were two hours long. This Nintendo Direct was only 40 minutes long. I would have liked it if they if they just showed more information for these games, or just showed us more games. And I noticed when going through uh, the eShop on my Nintendo 3DS, 
I noticed that there were more brand new trailers for Yoshi's New Island, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, and Mario Luigi Dream Team, and Pikmin 3, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, well, why didn't they just put those brand new trailers in the Nintendo Direct? And we didn't even see any new information about the new Yoshi's Yarn game, or the new Fire Emblem game that was going to be coming out for the Wii U. Again, this Nintendo Direct was good in some aspects, but it was very underwhelming in other aspects. And I will say that this Nintendo Direct presentation was a hell of a lot better than Microsoft's press conference. It was actually much more interesting and more entertaining, and they showed off games that m mostly appealed to me. Uh, but I will still stick to my word, and I will say this, I still believe that Sony put on a better show and a better presentation. And that's not to say that I'm not going to buy a Wii U. If anything, I think this Nintendo Direct has, gotten, has given me a little bit more interest in purchasing a Wii U, because it shows me that there's still a bright future for the Wii U with more games to come. Nintendo hasn't even pulled out their big guns yet. I also believe that the Wii U is a good competitor against the PlayStation 4. As for the Xbox One, I don't see a future in that thing. I believe that this next gen is going to be completely between Sony and Nintendo, just like it was in the good old days. But anyway, that's the end of my E3 discussion videos for 2013, and this is Nintendo Guy saying take care and see you later.